so I've just got this picture that I thought it would be interesting to show to share um from Twitter I think and the caption is you know people keep saying when is this beast going to get her karma this is her karma can you imagine having to carry that much weight her neck is sunk into her shoulders with no neck look at it her breast is like a, a shell just below her moon face her back is slanted backwards because her abdomen is pushing her that way not because she's got bad bones or osteoporosis or anything like that just because she's um, the size she is and in front of us all she's being allowed to want to lie herself all for money all to keep that man by her side the man who put a ring on her finger and talking of that ring I don't know whether you can see this is a pretty bad blurred image I've got here um, which was sent to me but the ring is literally becoming embedded in that finger um, if she's going to lose the finger if she isn't careful no wonder she keeps trying to take it off and leaves it in the kitchen or elsewhere while she's doing other stuff and I bet she has a job to get it off as well cold water soap butter maybe um, but if she's not careful she's going to lose that she's going to lose that ring finger and it's going to turn gangrenous there isn't a part of her body that isn't unduly deformed even a woman say somebody was um, in my chat a few weeks ago and she was talking about she'd got this weight to lose and um, you know wanted to lose about two stone which is about 28 pounds well Chantal has to lose 10 times that 10 times and more to even be considered mildly overweight you never see her standing next to a normal size person do we those pictures that music biz marty has got i don't know is whether any of you have seen them um i'll see if i can find a link and put it in the description or find the pictures and put them here um i'm assuming the woman in the pictures is Salah's sister because Marty, being the resourceful person he is, has discovered Salah's family. And Salah, you know, you've involved yourself majorly in Chantal's life. You've insulted viewers. You and your friends have insulted Western women labelling all labelling all of us um well a not very nice name let's shall we say i don't know what sort of women you've been mixing with although you're that desperate to get to canada i can imagine i posted this before 
um, it was when they were first starting their mukbangs and they were doing it together. Um, Chantal, was this before she was using 10,000 filters and she was only using sort of a few? And Pete, when he was a little bit more than monosyllabic and he could um, form his words, although they didn't make much sense. Shall we have a little listen to them? This is when Chantal was about to embark on her six-figure salary from YouTube. That chair. Look at my little pompon. Yeah, sumo wrestler. Hi guys. The food is not in sight. We're kind of far away. Are we too far away? No. We'll get this right, guys. Eventually. You're not too far away. You could never be too far away. Yeah. We're moving. We're moving. We're just moved kind of ugly right now. Yeah, two days of working and... Anyway, yeah, so uh, we're about, you know, two days moving. We're tired. Oh. My eggs are, or, or my legs are giving away. That's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> so false. You should have got married, you two. Actually, they are for the train wreck. Yeah, yeah, they're here for the, they're here for the conversation. And not inflicted yourselves on anybody else. They're stuck at home in quarantine, right? They feel better about themselves. Yeah. What is this crap? Oh, it's pumps on. You guys, I know I just did a Chinese food mukbang not long ago, but hey, when you're craving something, tomorrow... I know I say this <laughs> because I said not long ago that I was going to eat out, know, but uh, but I, I mean we just moved. Yeah, we do need to. You know what? I don't we, like. Yeah, we, we weren't cooking today. I'm when like, they just I'm moved right, into I'm the right, villa. Right. There's no way we we're going to be cooking today. Yeah, but the problem is, is that I, I announce things impulsively. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not. It's easier said than done. These things that I would say, but no, I do need to do groceries and. And there was no way we were cooking today. No, we poor babies. Yeah. Mm. So. Um, this is the video where she was shopping for hijabs. Um, her filters were on uh, maximum. Her makeup covering every spot and every crater in that face of hers. But uh, we won't dwell on that. Let's have a look at what she buys. And getting this color. These are already put together like yeah, because you can't cope doing it, can you? So I'll Even it now. It. So I got a few colors black, purple, pink, beige. That'll go with almost everything I have to wear. Hi, <laughs> babe. I hope you're going to buy that. Now you put it on your stressy head. Let's go fishing. Oh, I'm waiting in the car so I'll have to run in and get something, but he got me some ice water. They sell these, they have these little carts. They call them Look at that tune. They sell Lulu, which is ice cream sticks here. Um, a brand of ice cream stick, and they sell like ice. Ice water, there's like a chunk of ice. You really need it when you live here. So yeah, um, I had to go up and down a lot of stairs at that store and walking around, and I'm getting more used to it actually, which is good. You know, alhamdulillah. And um, alhamdulillah. I'm trying to like push myself, you know, to build my stamina. Um, I have to do it. So so far today, all I had to eat was watermelon and the meal I filmed for you, my breakfast. And that, yeah, that was pretty that's disgusting. Why I, I have eggs, but I'm trying to like incorporate them because they keep me full for a long, long, long time. And I'm still not hungry, and it's like 8.30 p.m. And I, I ate that at like maybe 2, so breakfast or brunch, whatever you want to call it. And you're not so obsessing with food. My haul, try on my uh, for hijabat. Salah told me that the plural for hijab is hijabat, so. Hijabat. Oh no. It's a movie to head. Look at that ugly rug that I bought for the 
um, well, Harry's room, the spare room that they're using now to film their videos. Um, is that the room that Salah sleeps in when he stays there, I wonder? Nice and grey, it matches the curtains and the sofa. We really like it, so here it is. Alright guys, so we are back from the store and I'm going to try on the hijab that I got. So, let's go for number one. Okay, so this here is the undercaps I usually wear. They cover the neck and everything, okay? Um, but it's shorter, it comes to here, it's not like a full hijab. I wonder now, what she's going to do when she gets back to Canada. Them, adjusting them and everything, because these are the chiffon, and well, they are nice, and the material is pretty light. You see here, I have to pin it for it to stay. So like I pin it like that, while it's on, and then... I like wrap it myself, you know, it's just a piece of fabric, you have to make your own hijab. And when you don't feel like it's super it, glue. It's, like, it's, it's really hot, so if I don't have to wear this undercap and I can just find like an all-in-one, that's what I was looking for. So I did get some um, hijabs that are like that. So this is the style. All of them are the same style, just different colors. So How this ridiculous. Here, it's already stitched here. I just put my head through and then it, it's a, a jersey material, so it kind of like just stays in place. So I don't need pins, I don't have to wear an undercap because it's not see-through like the chiffon. So. I really want to get some of these because Jersey they're going to be pretty warm. Cool. You guys have been saying, you know, get some lighter colors, get some lighter colors. Well, there you go. So, um, all right. Um, I'm going to try these on for you now. All right, first one, yellow. All right, so I have this one here. Now, this one, you can, you can tuck this little piece in if you want. A lot of people do. But um, then you can do different styles. One of my favorites is just to just... Yeah, because it's simple. Kind of just wrap it around. Like that, very simple. Wow, I really like this one. So this one, I have. You know, I tried to get one that will match with a lot of things that I uh, I'm wear. Now, um, match with a lot of things because, you wear. You've you know, only wear black or bias. I did get a shipment of clothes. You know, I've been waiting for. And you guys are gonna see that soon. So you'll see the matching uh, hijab with it as well. And it's so like it feels so nice. Like it's nice and light. There's no undercap. I have to worry about like double layers on my head. You know, the only thing I'm worried about is sweat stain. But we'll find out about that. Actually, I might have to wear like a white undercap. If there is like sweat stains, but we'll see. So this is number one. Okay, okay guys. So here's another one. This is a light pinky color, and you can just like kind of style it. The lighter ones are nice, Again, actually. This one is for like joined here, so you can just take it. Because just the person who's wearing them. Whenever they're already made, I love that. But I always lose the pins anyway. Okay. So then you just go like that, and then you just go like that. It's like an instant hijab. <laughs> yeah, I love it, and it's like a jersey material, so. You know, you you're still going after Marty, Chantal. Like when I'm going to go out and I'm walking around, then uh, I can just like, good luck um, with that. It'll be so much cooler. You know, I don't have to worry about that. And it's full coverage. You can't see any hair. You can't see anything. So, yeah. All right. Next one. All right. So, here is another color. Um, another style you can do is just like kind of, you don't have to. They're all um, the same style. You can just like wrap it like this mm. and wear it like this and see how it just stays in place. And I don't have to worry. It's full coverage because it's sewn here. So, oh, you could be yeah. a muggle. Is the other one. All right, guys. Here is I'm the last one I'm going to show you because I did also get a black one, but you've seen me in a black hijab. So, but if I just want to wear black, black goes with everything. I have one for that too. Very versatile. So, um, these are summer colors and they're like nice and light. Bit like your husband. He's <laughs> um, so yeah, versatile. Style it, uh, I'm going to style them different ways, but just to show you, I, what color is this? You have to tell me in the comments below. Like, is it gray or is it off white? Is it beige? I'm not even sure what color it is. But yeah. Um. So. Leave me in the comments your favorite color. I think I like um, I like the pink and blue ones. I like those for sure. So, yeah. Look, like. Salah said he likes the blue ones the most. <laughs> and did you buy that hat? Okay. Don't mention it. <laughs> and thank you for taking me shopping for these. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And thank you for taking video. me, Bye. husband. Bye. Bye.